Okay, so this pond is, is, is a, a British Dragonfly Society hotspot, which means it's brilliant for dragonflies. I mean, this is the perfect pond. This is your, your fantasy dragonfly pond. If you were going to design a pond with all the features that a good old fashioned lowland dragonfly is going to like, then this pond has it all. Um, it's got emergent vegetation, all these sort of this reedy fringe, perfect for the, uh, the, the larvae to emerge from, crawl up and, and their skins rupture and out comes that, uh, that gauzy wing uh, bedazzlement that we know of as the dragonfly. But then you've got this, uh, you've got all the, the, the surface, the floating weeds, the lilies, they're brilliant for the insects to, to land on, they, they, they sit on, they perch on them, they're safe out there, they also use them as, uh, as an, an egg laying platform. Um, you've got the structure underneath the surface as well, which is full of, uh, it's very weedy, lots of places for dragonfly larvae to, to hide and to hunt, and it supports all the food that they need to support their own lives. Um, uh, and also, very importantly, of course, this is, is well, I say it's not entirely fishless, but th a lot of the big fish that were in here have been removed. They've been rehoused, but, but it was full of carp, for example, which, you know, humans have a history of doing, doing two things with fresh water. They usually throw money in it or throw fish in it. And uh, if you can remove the, 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 the big fish, particularly bullies like carp, who, who turn over the water, they, they'll remove a lot of the water weed, they'll, they'll, they'll muddy up the water and, of course, predate on the, uh, the insect larvae themselves. So you can get them out of the way you produce a paradise for the, uh, the insects we're all about. So this pond has it all, and it's not too shaded either. So you've, you've got lots of sunlight hitting the surface, which means on a day like today, a perfect summer's day, you can enjoy the sun and you can enjoy the insects enjoying the sun too.